take you through my day a little bit about how I manage my stress and some things that I do that really helps me stay calm over the past couple weeks I've definitely noticed an increase in anxiety and I'm not sure if it's related to what's going on in the world or just putting more things on my plate sometimes I have a really hard time sleeping so in this video I'm gonna take you through my day I'm gonna show you some healthy eating hacks as well as some breathing techniques that can really help you when you start to feel anxious by the way if you're new to my channel welcome I'm so excited you're here my name is Molly and I'm a nutritional science student at Boston University studying nutrition and dietetics and I started this channel to share real science-backed nutrition and health information that can positively benefit your life and your health. I post lots of healthy recipes, vlogs, yoga sculpt videos because I'm also a certified yoga instructor as well as debunking diets and like different nutrition topics and trends that need clarification. So if you haven't already subscribed be sure to do that and hit the bell down below so you get notified for my future videos. But um, just made a cup of tea. I really like ginger tea. It's great for digestion and soothing and upset stomach and I added some magnesium powder and the reason why I added that magnesium powder is because magnesium is a super essential mineral for mood support, stress management, hormones, immune function. I actually learned the other day that magnesium is essential for activating the active form of vitamin D. So vitamin D actually acts as a hormone in your body and it's super important for immune function, so many things, regulating hormones. But if you don't have adequate magnesium, you actually can't increase your serum levels or your blood levels of vitamin D and you can't activate it so that it works properly in your body. So magnesium is super important and also when you're stressed, we can release our magnesium stores. So cortisol, the stress hormone, can trigger this dump of our magnesium stores and 75% of the population are deficient in magnesium. <laughs> it sounds like an info infomercial for magnesium, but I truly am just so passionate about um, getting in enough magnesium. It's really important so I added about half a serving of that calm magnesium powder which is not sponsored by the way I just started taking that um, actually for regularity it really helps um, if you have trouble going to the bathroom but it's also great if you don't think you get enough magnesium in through your diet and magnesium sources could be like green leafy vegetables magnesium is at the center of the chlorophyll molecule so anything green leafy nuts and seeds dark chocolate quinoa but I'm gonna drink this and set up my day a little bit. So another big part of stress management for me is setting up my day. I sort of organize my list of to-dos in order of priority and that really helps me. Sometimes I'll like schedule out certain blocks of time, like one to three I'm filming, four to five I'm editing and that like helps me stay on task and finish what I need to get done. I am going to take a rest day today because I've been working out a lot and doing some longer runs. So um, I'm definitely gonna rest and just do a quick meditation and some stretching to start the day. meditation is done. Mornings can be a little bit stressful for me if I have a busy day or I have a lot going on. So I like to make my mornings super easy and quick and this smoothie hack that I've been doing recently has helped me make breakfast super easy and make sure that I get in all my nutrients and my greens. So lately I've been making these little smoothie packs and I just pack them at the beginning of the week with some greens and some spinach, some flax, chia seeds, whatever that I want. And it's super easy. I just throw them in the freezer and then you don't have to think about what you're gonna have. I know that they're plastic bags, I'm working on it. I do reuse these over and over again in the freezer and then um, I'm also gonna get some freezer safe bags in the future. Um, it's just a really helpful tool to get in your greens and if you do use um, single use plastic, just reuse them. So in my smoothie, I'm having greens, I'm having kale, spinach, wild blueberries because they're all very antioxidant rich. And then new zest, of course, my favorite protein. This one's their chocolate. <laughs> I always 
always get smoothie right here. I'm at my desk now and I'm gonna do some editing and a little bit of work. I've been doing a lot of writing for different like food companies. So I'm gonna get a head start on that. And I also just wanted to show you a product I've been using at my desk that I love. So this is Penguin CBD and this is a company that reached out to me that is from Oregon and they make all natural preservative and artificial ingredient free CBD products. And I've been really interested in using CBD cream because I get really bad neck pain, especially when I'm working on the computer. So this one is their peppermint lavender scent, which is super relaxing. So like I mentioned, I partnered with them because the ingredients are really good and it really does help me support relaxation and balance when I'm working. I rub it on my neck and my temples and it's just a really great thing to keep my stress down during the day. So now I'm taking a break. Um, today I've been constantly snacking, but I wanna make some of the brownie cookie bites. They're no bake, they're super easy and so good um, that I made in a previous video. I'll link it up here for you. Um, but I'm gonna make those as well as an edamame salad to bring to um, my boyfriend's house later. So I will show you how I make it. So those came out great. I'm gonna bring some of those over later and then I'm just making a really quick salad with some romaine and some spinach I just chopped up. And then I'm gonna defrost some organic edamame. It's a really great source of protein, fiber, micronutrients. And then I love these crispy beets for salads. They're so good. Sprinkle on top, you can put it on top of salads or tacos or bowls. Highly recommend, I get these at Stop and Shop. And then I'm gonna slice some avocado and probably just put some olive oil and lemon juice. So super easy and super good. All right, so edamame is cooking and my salad is almost ready. And I'm feeling pretty good. Today, I feel less stressed than normal and I think that my daily meditation really helps with that. For days that I'm feeling extra anxious, these are two breathing exercises that I really, really like. So the first one is super simple. All it is is inhale for two, so two counts, pausing at the top, and then exhale for four inhaling for two counts, holding at the top, and exhaling for four. And that breathing exercise, really lengthening out the exhale breath, helps to stimulate the parasympathetic nerve response, which is our rest and digest response. So it helps you relax, helps your body know that you're not in fight or flight, and it also helps you digest your food better. So that's one that I use very, very often. Uh, it's also one that I use before bed or at the end of yoga class. Second one is heart breathing, and it's just placing one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Breathing in and just feeling the rise and fall of your belly. So you wanna make sure that the most of the breath here is coming from your belly. When we breathe up into the chest areas, that can be anxiety provoking. So you wanna take deep breaths, breathing into the belly, feeling your belly expand, and then releasing. I'm just focusing all your awareness on being in the present moment, feeling the breath move through the body. It's really grounding and can help you get back connected in the present moment. And another thing that I use when I start to wind down for the day, I'll either do a meditation or a journal exercise, just journaling how I'm feeling that day or any goals that I want to get out and get on paper. And I've also really been enjoying this product, uh, another product from Penguin CBD. And this also was gifted and it's awesome. So you may have already heard about CBD in other forms, but I really love Penguin CBD because it doesn't have propylene glycol which is an ingredient that a lot of other CBD brands have that may not be beneficial for your health. So I really like that these ingredients are really pure and it definitely helps me wind down at night, promoting a sense of calm and balance, especially for days that I'm feeling overwhelmed and I need to just have a good night's sleep. So I've been using this, just the dropper full at night and the strawberry flavor is so good. So I've had other CBDs and they taste terrible. So I never take them because I just don't enjoy it. But this tastes so good it's almost like a little dessert treat mix it in with some water maybe have like a little hibiscus and strawberry cbd tea if you have any other tips that are helping you stay calm and happy during this time definitely drop those down below i really love reading your comments and i respond to each and every single one 
And if you already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate you. If you haven't yet, be sure to join the fam and subscribe, as well as hit the bell down below so you get notified for my future videos. Comment any video ideas you guys want to see in the future, any more debunking diets or health tips, nutrition topics, anything like that. Um, I'm happy to make videos that are going to be the most helpful for you. So let me know. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.